All right, here we are. Initializing ice wall program configurations, normal draft blue fighter, sequence underscore one dot run. All right, so I cannot move up or down. So is this, this seems, I get some like space invaders vibes from this. All right, I'm not really sure what to expect. The developer sent me an email, gave me a steam key and, I, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, all right, sure. I'll check it out. Not paid, not sponsored, but I am curious what we're dealing with here. And it looks like we got ourselves a little uh, Space Invaders game roguelike, question mark. It's got to be more to it than this, I'm sure. Enemies defeated 15, damage taken, perfection. Okay, look, I guess that's my hit points down there. Next level. Oh, here we go. Um, I'm, I'm choosing my bonus here, I guess. More move speed. Drone projectiles have the same abilities as your projectiles. Wait, I... I don't have drones. Extra diagonal attacks, minus 35% attack multiplier. Yes, I want extra diagonal attacks. Okay. Now we're talking. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, Jesus Christ, <laughs> it's, it's Jason Bourne. What is this? <laughs> oh my, okay, we're, I, I get it now, I get it. Now. Okay, this is this is not easy. Can I like, do I have like a dash? I checked the controls and there was no dashing. All right, well then, I see, I see this is, <laughs> Not as easy as I was hoping it'd be. All right, so what do we have for level up now? Double shot, minus four attack damage. Piercing through enemies seems good, plus two max health. I am about to die, <laughs> but we want to pierce. All right, let's go. All right, I'm immediately much more interested in the game after the second round. <laughs> so it's it's a Space Invaders uh, bullet heck kind of thing. Oh man, I like, how do I get more health? I like. I think I just kind of need to just, I just need to get good. These guys have got a lot of health on them. Pretty good. Extra bullets cause you to take more damage. Oh, well, whoops. <laughs> it's good to know. Um, One hit in a dream. Aim better, please, CG. All right. Also, if you're watching this uh, video on YouTube, I am also I stream this on Twitch, and I'm talking to Twitch chat. If you're wondering who I'm talking to or why if I get hurt randomly from glancing at the second monitor. Uh, your projectiles pierce through all hits uh, more attack multiplier uh, get a drone companion they have 60% of your attack damage yes I want a drone companion what I really want is health though my I don't know what the drone companions doing maybe they're I, I guess they're firing too yeah yeah they're shooting too they just shoot straight they just do I oh I, this game would feel amazing with a dash mechanic it doesn't have one as far as I know but oh boy would that feel good I'm just trying to like not get hit by the bullets really would you how do I how do I hit this guy? I guess you really need that diagonal for this guy. Okay, level complete. Game name Ice Wall. I think there's a free demo available on Steam right now. Actually, <laughs> ooh, double shot. But we, I feel like minus four attack damage is a lot. I only attack for six. Oh no, I attack for ten. So that's like almost like that's a big hit. More diagonal projectiles. The attack multiplier. That's I guess that's like how like my fire rate. If I get a booster, I'll increase my fire rate. Let's get a let's get a plus forty percent attack multiplier, positive five percent. So we should shoot more frequently. Okay, we got bosses that are shooting little red circular dots. At us. Do I need to break those little those uh, rectangular blue things? Don't know that we do. So far, the boss is easier than a lot of the waves, which I'm very okay with because I'm you know it's one hit in a dream kind of scenario right here. We got the red dudes. Oh, y'all need to chill. I don't want to get murdered by you. That'd be great. All right. We're vibing. We're chilling. Man, it's been so long since I streamed on Twitch. This is bringing back memories. Memories of the Dead by Daylight grind I tried back then. Chill. Chill. Dead by Daylight was not my game. Please just die, purple thing. Where'd my drone go? Hello? Is my drone like timed or did it get hit? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. Oh my. Uh, uh, no, I need to like. No. Uh, chill. All right, just hurt this guy and don't die. Oh, there's phases? I thought I was in the clear. I thought I was about to win this. Oh man, I think I need movement speed or something. This is hard. Why does he like freak out occasionally and shoot like a random one? Maybe that's like give me like a gap to get back in. Yeah, otherwise I get pinned in the corner. I need that gap to get through. Felper thought of everything. Definitely need more DPS uh, or just like to hit better. Help, help, help. Oh, you're kidding me, I'm dead. All right. Movement speed would be good. I mean, back into it for sure. All right, initializing ice wall program. Draft blue fighter. Um, I like spam click to click faster. Yeah. I got the auto fire on. Okay, no. Just curious. 
You took a bullet to the brain. You'd freak out a bit too. I mean, yeah, that would do. That would work. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Might be good to put the name and the title if you're on games and demos. Yeah, I'm sure people in chat will remember and tell people to come in and ask. The plan, like my my real plan for what I'm doing here, is to um why I'm streaming this is just have like one well, people talk to while I'm doing it because it gets boring just trying all these demos on my own sometimes depending on how good the demos are. So I gotta like grind to find one. It's still, like just you know for this stream it'll probably just be like one or two games. What do we want here? Mm, plus one sniper damage when you hit. Plus five attack damage. Plus one max health. Plus two attack damage. Plus twenty percent projectile size. Let's go. Let's go forty percent attack multiplier. I want these. I want this. I want a high attack frequency. Okay, I'm getting better at dodging these guys. The trick is to not break like eight of them at once. Is going to be pretty helpful, huh? That's fine. Player path, yeah, yeah. I think the diagonals made it a little bit more dicey and dangerous for us. Although, I think the diagonal is good for fighting some of these guys. I want my a stream of. I think having like a, like a really fast attack multiplier for a stream of bolts is going to be pretty useful. But like, the the plan is to uh, just play a bunch of different games on here and having to like constantly manually reset the game and the title is going to be a nuisance. Like, if you do like six or ten games in one stream, right? Um, 140% projectile speed plus 60% fire rate. Wait, if fire rate is how quickly I shoot, then what the heck is multiplier? Oh, there, oh maybe it's one of these games where like you get a score bonus the more hits you get in a row or something like that. Um... I can set up a bot location and tell chat what the game is, or y'all could do my job for me. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard to, like, check the VOD and rewind to show the the game at the start, right? Or just ask chat. All right, we're doing okay here. Uh, the fire rates, so the fire rates what I'm looking for for, like, quicker shootings. That's the good stuff. Okay, chill. Getting better at dealing with the, the yellow dudes, okay? That's what mods are for. True... I find something you can trust to be a mod, though, right? That's the hard part. Get these rats out of here. I do, like, I kind of miss the diagonal, but it's also kind of easier without the diagonal attacks because you don't, you just, you accidentally kill random stuff that you're not prepared to dodge when you have diagonals. But then again, I mean, it's kind of hard to hit these guys. Would you, it just, it did, the, the flow and pacing of the game felt better when I had diagonal attacks for sure. It feels very tedious to get this one last guy without it. Don't you touch me. Multiplier just damage multiplier for your base damage, maybe. But how do you activate that multiplier? Piercing is not terrible. Extra diagonals is good. I mean, more fire rate, but let's get that. Let's get those diagonals. Those diagonals. It just feels better. Yeah, it just feels better with diagonal attacks for like increasing the the rate at which you flow through the levels. Just for the game feel, I want these diagonal attacks of death and doom. All right. Um, these purple guys like gave me an opportunity to get in here. Keep in mind, this game is, uh, it's, I think it's a work in progress, the developers, you know. If it doesn't feel quite right, the developers are still working on it, whatever. It is, it says the left of the health bottom while you're fighting. Oh, so, oh yeah, you're right, attack 10 plus multiplier, attack 12, you're right, yeah, yeah, there's a, so you can get, I can, basically this gives me extra damage. Move speed, yes! Uh, fire rate, pierce, mmm, more diagonal, ah, words, more speed. I can't talk goodly. It might be early for some of you, but I've been awake for, um, uh, 10 hours. Uh, chill. Actually, movement speed feels good. That's nice. I'll see so far, after my first impression, my first impression of the game so far is I think this might have, uh, we might have a little bit of potential on our hands here. Might be kind of, kind of a decent game. I'll, obviously, I need to, like, suck less and be less terrible. Y'all yeah, need to chill. Remember, this is just the first phase of the first boss here. Hey. Hey. Stop trying to box me in a corner. Why is that one, pur one purple dude not firing? No, he is. Oh, I see. Once they, like... You don't need to kill all of them. They'll just get replaced by, uh... Whatever it wants to give me. Ouch. All right, fine. I need to get rid of that one. The other red dude's lasers, like, on top of his lasers, made an impenetrable wall of hard to, like, get past the tutiny. That's right. I make it words. Watch me do it. You can't stop me. I kind of can't really read chat right now. I'm using 110% of my brain and my focus. The extra movement speed is being very useful here for dodging on these bullets. Is that phase two, final phase? I think so. Brain defeated. Get bodied. Okay. Is that called an all-nighter? No, that's called me waking up at like midnight. <laughs> 11 p.m. That's what that is. 
I've only been awake for like 10 hours, so. Um, double shot minus four attack damage. I mean, so six times two is 12. That's an overall damage increase if both shots hit. Uh, bubble projectiles plus 20 attack multiplier. I mean, I just want to see what these bubble projectiles are. Hopefully they're not bad. Sequence underscore two dot run. Whoa, okay, they're just, they're bubbles. Okay, I wasn't expecting freaky birds dropping little poop pellets at me. Haha, <laughs> chill. Okay, so this is a thing. I'm not sure if the I'm not sure if the bubble pellets help or not. Maybe they have like a larger surface area and thus a higher like margin of error for actually hitting the enemies in front of us. Maybe, perhaps. Singularity can only draw singularity cards. I don't know what singularity cards are. Uh, more projectile speed, damage, fire rate. I'm gonna click this just so that I can know what sing like. So the next things I get will be Singularity cards if I survive this round. Okay, we've got cannons. This game is very creative. I wasn't expecting birds and stuff. I'm liking the, the visuals and the vibe. I think we got ourselves a... Ouch! Okay, it wasn't I wasn't expecting that. I think we got ourselves some content for the side channel and also potentially for the main channel. Am I like not supposed to let these barrels like get down to the bottom? Is that what's going on here? I think that's probably what's going on here. It's got like some pirate theme vibes here. Or maybe once they get to the bottom, they explode, and then I can't dodge their projectiles at the bottom, maybe. Why'd you start making Territorial.io videos if you don't know geography? I started making Territorial.io videos because um, I saw somebody play the game, Drew Dernil, and it looked like a fun video game, and I went and played it, and I thought it was fun, and I made some videos on it, and like the fifth video I made in the first week of first week of making videos kind of went semi-viral um not crazy viral but by my standards expectations it was a ton of views and uh i'm like hey youtube views let's keep it going so basically i made um territorial videos because i like video games not because i like geography um plus two attack damage i, I enjoy the game for the the video game aspect not for the country uh geography history aspect Okay, so Singularity Growth. I got three options for Singularity Growth. Plus two attack damage, plus 25% fire rates. So what's the difference between Singularities and these other things? I don't understand the difference. It's kind of cool how you can hover over them and, and like the tracks move forward. Let's let's keep the questions to a minimum, please, if you can in chat. Um, and also not personal questions like my age. Uh, I guess, well, I clearly we're going for one of these. I like how you can like hover over it and the tracks move faster. I haven't noticed that. I'm a big fan of that. That's awesome. So it's like so this is kind of like some sort of like CD DVD like vibe thing going here. I don't know. Um, plus two attack damage would give us uh, 12, 14. I don't know. More fire rate makes us shoot faster. What is but what is the difference between a singularity and all these regular things? I don't get it. Do they like stack on each other? Hello. Okay. Is this is that a boss or a just a a thing there? Watch out for the bird poops. Oh, chill. Need to get rid of these cannons here. I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh, I couldn't avoid it. Unfortunate. You're, these cannons are like tanky little creatures that just don't want to die. You also. Are you like work, slowly working your way down to like kill me? Okay, you... Oh, it spawned things. Oh, watch out for that. Okay, I get it. I have one hit points. Is there just no way to get hit points back in this game? I guess I there were occasionally the things offered like plus one max health. Maybe that gives you a little bit of health back, but some way to regenerate hit points would be nice. Hmm, maybe Singularity cards only like stat boosts versus stuff like bubble and additional projectiles. Maybe? Could be. I think right now I only have one Singularity growth. Maybe this is a game where you unlock more things as you do more runs of Rogue Light with a T. And we don't have that many, uh, we, this is the only Singularity we have unlocked. But I guess we're going to get a lot more attack damage and attack. Right? So I'm glad I did it so now I know what it is. But maybe I don't get... Uh, that thing that locks me into just singularities my next run although i mean I, it is doing wonders for increasing our like dps oh we're dead okay never mind we've we've made terrible life choices it's fine also i should like keep it pay attention to like how long the video is right oh uh, we retry i should be paying i should actually go check the men, main menu to see have i unlocked anything uh sure Main menu. Have I have I unlocked? I've got points. Do I spend points to unlock things? Okay. I'm not the only one who's played the game. Uh, back. How do I uh, achievements? No. Can we unlock things here? Disk drive. These are 
just things we can look at just shows other oh, discs the hard discs the stream for 10 hours here we go settings um mm, nope how do we how, do, how does one unlock things i guess oh you just you just, you just use points a classic fire defense fortification you, uh, you earn points i have four hundred eighty-two thousand. so by playing you get points pretty quickly at that and you spend points on lock stuff okay Hundred thousand for a classic fire with defense fortifications. I'll unlock you. Slow fire rates. Balance stats. This guy's got high defense. Um, try it. Sure. All right, defense dude. Show us what you got. Initializing eyes. Oh, I see. It's I start with these little uh, green defense things. Can I shoot through them? I can't shoot through them, so I don't understand what good that is to me. I mean, I guess I can hide under them if I'm feeling scared or, or in trouble. But I feel like the fact that I act, the fact that I can shoot through them myself seems kind of like, I don't know, like what good are, def oh, that's, I have, I have auto fire turned on. That's why they're less useful. <laughs> I can just hide underneath them and then like, like d dip out and uh, attack. I'd rather just keep auto fire on, honestly, is is the way a roguelike without Auto fire, Ugh. Ugh. Well, but I get it now. They actually are useful if you don't have auto fire turned on. Makes sense. So maybe this just isn't the class I'm meant to use with my preference for having auto fire always on. More health, more damage, more size. I mean, we gotta have the diagonal projectiles, but like, I mean, more. Let's get the bigger projectiles. Let's go. Let's go for big boy projectiles. And they're okay. No, no, chill. Just break all these. So the is. So this guy's whole thing is that he has these little things down below to protect him. That's the only appeal of this ship. I see why he's the, the, the first one to lock. It's pretty underwhelming. The really good ships are going to be... That makes sense, though. Like The, the game's got like... The, I saw it had like a dozen ships, so clearly the best ships are going to be... Uh, you know, There's going to be some duds. And this feels like it's one of the duds. Unless you just really like to you know, manually control your attack and hide behind... Uh, little barriers. I'm sure a skilled player can make use out of it. I need to I should be going for the diagonal attack. It's just it's just better. It's just better. Mandatory upgrade question mark. This seems this seems just like an exact copy of the Space Invaders. No, it's um this is what we call a yoink and twist. This is um it took the concept of Space Invaders and it's modernized it with uh, the roguelike aspect. You'll find that a lot in uh in your games. Like all ooh super multi draft events choose any number. Wait, me, I can get as many as I want. Um, let's get Pierce. Let's get plus five attack damage. Let's get plus two max health. Ooh, look at that. Plus, that's that's in, that's that's insanely lucky. Oh my goodness, that's like four levels up in one. That's so good. I wish I had gotten diagonal that first round though, but that's seems very good for us. Huge value on that. I wish I was using my other ship that had like normal attack rate because this thing shoots this thing shoots slow. Y'all need to chill with all your attacks and stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Purple dudes. I'm in for 24 damage already. That seems really strong. Oh my god. Yo, yo chill with the bullets. Yikes. Ease up, my dudes. Just trying to... Red dude, give me, give me some breathing room. All right, my rule for a diagonal upgrade option. This, um, this one. Come on, let me in here. Let me in here. Take that sauce. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What games do you like to play in your free time, Fanny? Um, right now I've been playing uh, a lot of Slime Rancher 2 and uh, Cult of the Lamb, which I haven't played in a couple weeks. So I'm a busy with Slime Rancher. Hmm, I could just play those on Twitch here. Uh, projectile size. I mean, it's so nice to be able to like stream on Twitch here and just not have to worry about the algorithm or thumbnails or titles and just like just you can just turn it on and stream and who cares? It's, it's nice. Projectile size. Attack multiplier, fire rate. Ooh, the more health you have, the more attack multiplier and fire rate. That just means more damage effectively. Diagonal projectiles, I need it. The diagonals. Oh my goodness, it's so much better. Just start me with diagonals every time. I bet you know, I bet there's gonna be a ship that had to just start with diagonals, right? Maybe? Perhaps. Get them out of here. The red guys just homing on in on us. <laughs> hey, uh Nick, how you doing? You like that Sea of Fools? Yeah, that's a, that a fun game. I can't wait for a, that Ship of Fools game to get full release. No damage taken. Bonus option. Oh, you get a bonus if you don't take damage. Uh, choose one. So I get to have 
Does that mean I get to pick two, or is it like a special one? Berserk, you take double damage. Don't love that idea. Auto fire locked in. I mean, I already have that locked in, right? But I get 50% move speed and double fire rate. Yoink, taking it. Okay, you only get one. Didn't even look at the other ones. That fire rate, though, is zooming. Gotta be careful, though. I take double damage. But I feel like we're doing a lot of damage to you. Uh-oh. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill. Chill, my dudes. Uh -huh. oh, okay, crap. That's double damage. That's not great. But we're like... We are murking this thing. Honestly, Berserker, kind of into it. Feels good. The pacing feels nice. Get wrecked. Yeah, the yellow enemies are tough. Brain defeated sequence underscore one dot end. Okay. Doing well there. More health. And I guess it gives more defense fortifications. More fire rate. Ready to shoot pretty fast. Plus one sniper damage when you hit. What is what is sniper damage? Lose all sniper damage if you miss the projectile. Ew, this is going to be for like a specific class for like 100% accuracy. That's not good for my tendency to prefer auto fire. More fire rates. Let's go for max health and defense fortifications just to see like does it give us more fortifications? Oh, he dies. Look at him being all like tall and stuff. So I could, I could see where this could be pretty good if you're the kind of person that likes to like, I'll hide behind this and then dip out and shoot and be... If you're like patient and strategic, this might be the, the class for you. Me, I just pre prefer to send an auto fire and move around. More move speed. I feel like I'm moving already pretty fast. Fire rate, projectile speed. Wait, minus 50% player size. If I'm smaller, I'm harder to hit. And I move faster. Ooh, but it makes my projectile smaller, so I also have a harder time hitting them. Double shot, minus four attack damage. Let's do double shot. I haven't seen that yet. Oh, I'm into it. I'm into the double shot. Yes. Oh, oh, oh my god, chill. I take double damage. Oh my god, oh my god. All right, let's get this guy here if we can get them. All right, okay. All right. Need to... Some way to heal would be nice. Plus one max health when you finish levels without taking damage. That could be good. Bolt projectiles. I'm not sure how much those helped. Hope maybe it's a little bit, a little bit easier to hit. Mm, let's go for plus one max health and finish levels without taking damage. Wait, I'm, can I only get a certain number of upgrades? We're going to sit here and shoot this dude a bunch. All right, they can't get past my uh, walls. Never mind. They've gotten past my walls. That was a quick turnaround. Oh, well, took you out pretty easily. They're going to try and get me. Yo, chill. All right, this... It looks like the levels are not randomized from what I can tell, or not too much randomization. Not sure. I just I've definitely seen that level before. Uh, plus ballerina health. Okay, I guess I, I gained some health, maybe? Not sure if it recovers or increases my max. Why do you play so many 80s, 90s games? I just go on to um uh you know uh the Steam store page and just check the demos tab and just you know, I, I look for roguelike games and most of them just tend to have this vibe. Blame the developers, not me. Um, your projectiles pierce through all enemies' hits. Plus one max health. Plus mm, tri triple shot. Minus three attack damage though, but triple shot. And I already had double shot. Okay, we, so we just went from double triple. Okay, I'm into it. Oh, these these cannons are they're rather tanky. Gotta watch out for the yellow. Oh, the yellows. Okay, da -da 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 -da. okay, we're fine. Stop freaking out. Oh, uh, I need to not let that barrel hit the ground. That'd probably be smart, right? Ooh, chill. I don't trust these falling barrels. Oh my god, very fine. It hurts. So much my per damage bonus. Uh, do you like spooky games? Um, <sighs> scary games. I like games... I like scary games that have a spooky vibe, but no jump scares. Do not like jump scares at all. So if we have some fan... Of, like, if there's somebody in chat that loves scary games and, you know, who can, like proof like proof freedom and check them for me to make sure there's ones that are like fun spooky vibes but aren't gonna jump scare me and give me a heart attack like I'm, I'm, I'm down but I'd have to have somebody I'd trust to like like check the games for me um actually uh, Corgi was talking about uh, doing a potential collab on scary games uh he's he's thinking like maybe we should like do phasmophobia I said want to buy it for just like one I, I don't know. Phasmophobia is not really my vibe of scary games. A little too jump scary. Uh, plus four attack damage when you finish low with 85% accuracy or better. Laser projectiles. Your projectiles pierce through one enemy. I mean, plus three attack damage. That just seems good. Um, yeah. Uh, more free damage and some free pierce. So the endo parasitic. 
Also, another nice thing... Oh, chill with that, dude. Oh, the barrels. Oh, the pirate barrels. The defense actually helped out a little bit there. Another thing, nice thing about um, streaming on Twitch is... When I'm on YouTube, I'm, like, very scared to play scary games, because some scary games have, like, kind of, like, ouch, we got hit there. Kind of, like, gory stuff sometimes, and, well, YouTube doesn't like that gory stuff, but on Twitch, as long as there's, basically on Twitch, as long as there's, like, no nudity or anything, you're going to be fine. Although some scary games will actually have nudity in them without, like, advertising, which is also a problem. I, re I just really need somebody, like, to vet the scary games for me. Pirate Ship Defeated, that was easy. How'd you guys get to talk? Is that personal? No. Um, I was, I just, I'm, I randomly came across him in a, a lobby without realizing it, made a video on it without realizing it, you know, Corgi Circus, and then he made a video on it, oh, from his perspective, and, and then, you know, people in the comment section were freaking out, oh, Corgi Circus was in a CG Plays video, oh my god, and that's how I learned he exists, and I checked his channel, liked what I saw, and just sent him a message, and there we go. The rest is history. More diagonal projectiles. I'm actually, I'm actually tempted. Mm, let's do it. We lose some attack multiplier. So, attack total's only 10. Oh my god. What now? Okay, we got like planes and like dudes dropping down. Just get bodied. Okay, let's go. Ballerina health. I'm all about it. We got three health. Okay, uh, more fire rate. Tempting. Pierce through all enemies hit. Wait, through all enemies hit? 100% pierce? Drone companion is tempting. Plus max health, plus four attack damage. I don't. I'm not sure I want to lose projectile speed. Um, oh, let's get like 100% piercing though, right? 100% piercing just seems good. This, this is the visual stimulation I was looking for. <laughs> a bit, almost a bit much, honestly. But I'm okay with it. Let's go. And now we're talking. Uh, breaks the Geneva Convention. Or up to four health. So it's increasing my current and my max health at the same time. That's good. Move speed, fire rate, plus four attack damage. I will not have 85% accuracy with this build. Bubble projectiles plus 20 attack. I'm not sure if bubble projectiles. I think lasers is better than bubbles. I'm not sure if we can have both. Uh, fire rate, plus 40% fire rate. Hey, what's up, my dudes? <laughs> uh, 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 bullets. <laughs> We're both. I fly. I'm over here freaking out about bullets. How do you think they're feeling over there? It's like a nightmare for them. At least, it, at least it's over quick for them. More size? Do we need more size? Plus 30% fire rate when you finish levels in under 20 seconds. I mean, that's happening a lot. So let's uh, let's let's just do that because we are we are wrecking levels quickly here. And, oh, oh my god! With the with the impossible to dodgeness. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not sure we beat this one in 20 seconds. I was doing fine before. So if the guys fall off the screen, it's not a big deal. All right, get that. All right, okay, so much for 20 seconds. I feel like that was longer. I like how long that was. Wait, no, we got it. Plus 17 seconds, plus hackware, fire rate. Let's go. CG going from confident freaking out back to confidence. Amazing. <laughs> uh, max health, tempting. Plus four attack damage, good. I'm not sure losing projectile speed is good, though. Plus 10% attack, multiplier, plus 5% of each health you have. So 30% attack rate. Does it, like... Does it change on my health? Let's get the just. I need more health, and I'm gonna see how much the negative projectile speed is gonna hurt us. Oh, whoa! The like the slow projectiles is super trippy. Oh, that is weird, man. That's big weird. All right, this is the boss. Oh, we had to like unlock them from their tank mode. I see. This is honestly, I kind of like the slower projectile speed. It's kind of cool. Oh, does it make it a little visually trippy to dodge their stuff though. Oh, this is. This enemy's really cool. Oh, we got hurt. Wish I could appreciate more, but I'm, my 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 eyes are being assaulted by lines. Just feel like I'm in the Matrix right now. Oh my god, it's hard to dodge. It's hard to dodge. DPS does not feel DPS-y enough. So much for breaking this in 20 seconds. Just stay alive. Stay alive and don't die. All right, this, did I get hit again? No, I killed them. Okay. Oh, oh we did it. Tiger defeated. All right, that was a cool boss, though. Kind of hard to appreciate with my insane build, but here we are. More attack multiplier would be more damage. I have no drones. Get a drone companion. But they don't have all the buffs that I do. They just have, like, one little shot with some damage. Just more attack multiplier. It's all... Forget the drones. It's all about me. Sequence underscore four dot run. Okay. Oh, this is... These are... These are cool, dudes. <laughs> these got, got little lasers. 
20 seconds to get a little speed. What's my... I should pay attention. I should check my fire rate before and after each level. Nice. Extra health. Need that. Um, so it's... it's What is this? Uh, fire rate. So my fire rate's at 0 0.23 right now. Okay. It's got... And we'll see what... I see it's base because of the... Okay. Uh, get a drone companion. Plus 6 attack damage. Mm, let's get plus 6 attack. So 0 0.23 and the fire rate. What's it going to be after we finish this level? If it's under 20 seconds. Which it might be. And we are just bodying these guys. Alright, do I need... To, nope, don't gotta kill the faces. Alright, job done. Um, 0 0.21. Yep, it's working. Okay. Fantastic. Get a drone companion. Hmm, more move speed? Do I need it? I mean, just in case. Just in case. There we go. What's up? Oh my god, no, not the yellow, not the yellow. Okay, we're fine. And get destroyed. Speed run in this game. Sniper. Plus some sniper damage when you hit. No. Drone companion. Plus seven attack damage. Yes, I will take uh, plus seven attack damage. Hey, what's up, my dudes? Get bodied. And well, another level done. Get wrecked. <laughs> did, we, did we break the game already? Vertical movement. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. You didn't. Oh, you did it. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so fast. You didn't give me vertical movement in this game. You, I had no idea. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, man. It's not I'm sure how helpful it is, honestly, but it's there. Well, uh, not this. Not this. All right. The skull, the skull is cool looking. I'm not sure how helpful vertical movement is, but, like, we can do it if we want. But I'm, I feel like I'm just... Uh, I feel like I take more damage than I do use it, but... Well, you can use it, the, the vertical movement does it feels a little clunky. You can't really move like diagonally with it. I think it's better just to skip it, but like I like that it's there. Wait, ice wall program successfully completed. Congratulations, CG Place. Shutting down in three, two, one. Hey, we did it. Smash a like button. Let's go. Wait, what? Shut down interrupted by user ROTN. Wait, what? Oh, final boss? Oh, I've been waiting forever. Let's dance. Oh, final boss. Okay, here we go. Alright, final boss, dude. Oh, I see. It's supposed to be like one of us. One of us. One of us. You've got phases as well. Oh, oh no. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, we got hurt. We got hurt. It's not great. Oh, no. No, no. I can't take another hit or we die or we lose. No, 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 no. They've got bubble attacks. Chill. Okay. Get wrecked. Final boss. Easy question mark. Well played. Your build was broken. Yeah, they know it. They know it. <laughs> Anyways, later. Are we actually shutting down this time? For a final boss, they were pretty easy. Hey, 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 we wrecked it. Smash that like button. Let's go.